Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from Trade Up. Hello friends, my name is Rambabu Tauru. In this video, I would like to discuss how to prepare electric circuits for electrical engineering candidates. Here, electric circuit is most important subject for these electrical engineers. Why? Because if you come across core subjects in electrical engineering, like electric machinery as well as power systems, for these two subjects, electric circuit is most important thing. Why? Because this is the basic thing. If you know the basic thing, then only we can able to understand the machinery as well as power systems. When you come across gate, for gate point of view also, this is most important subject for also scoring subject. In this video, I'll go. What are the topics in electric circuits? What are which? What are the important topics? What are the unimportant topics? From each and every topic, how many marks they are asking? Like this, I'll go one by one. First topic in electric circuit is DC circuits. In the DC circuit, basic thing is first we need to come across Ohm's law. After that, type of sources. Okay. Now actually. There are two types of sources, like dependent sources as well as independent sources. Now, normally use sources are the independent sources here. Okay. Now, special application will have the like dependent sources. Now, mostly when you come to the gate point of view, mostly they are going to ask questions on the dependent sources. Okay. Whenever there is any circuit is connected by the dependent source, they will ask you the one of the branch response. That's why here I mentioned type of sources. Okay, out of these dependent sources as well as independent sources, out of which dependent source is the very important for the gate point of view. Do the number of problems on the dependent source circuits. Then try to analyze, try to solve the all the problems. Next, next topic in DC circuits is the Ohm's law, KCL, KVL. Next, null analysis. Next, this analysis. And also, there is a short delta. Like this, there is so many techniques in order to reduce the circuit, in order to modify the circuit. And also, we can able to get what is the response of the each and every branch. Okay. Next one will be the network topology. Okay. From this, they may ask you find incidence matrix, constant matrix, etc. Okay, this is also very very important topic in the DC circuits. Now, out of these three topics, all the topics are very important in order to get the that basic thing here. Okay, and also these topics are very important for the coming topics. And also we can expect one two more question from this topic here. At least we can get it one two more question from this topic. Then. If you move to the second topic, that is, second topic is AC circuits, in which what are the things here? Single phase AC circuits, as well as three phase AC circuits. Out of which coming to the single phase AC circuits, we are going to see about only AC source corrected by the resistor, inductor, capacitor, then after RL circuit, RC circuit, RLC. Series circuit. After that, when you come across parallel circuits like parallel RL, parallel RC, parallel RS. Okay. Now thereafter, once you look at this circuit, single phase AC circuits like series as well as parallel. After that, come across the the resonance. Resonance. Resonance is most important topic in the AC circuits here. Then we need to come across Resonance like series resonance as well as parallel resonance. Series resonance as well as parallel resonance. Now in this, need to look into the the bandwidth quality factor, that uh, resonance frequency. Okay, like this, need to come across all these formulas. Okay, based on that, they may ask you the questions. Okay, now in single phase AC circuit, mostly they are going to ask questions on the resonance here. In resonance, especially series and parallel. Just look at the series and parallel resonance here. Okay, this is most important here. And also, then after 
when you come across the three phase AC circuits, they may ask you to find the how much reactive power absorbed by the load, how much real power delivered by the source for balance as well as unbalanced sources as well as for balance and unbalanced loads. Okay, and also they will ask you uh, in this topic you like to see how to measure the uh, three phase power where our system is balanced, how to measure the three phase system power if system is unbalanced like 2 watt meter method, 3 watt meter method then what is the phase angle ok now this type of questions are very important coming to the 3 phase AC circuits next from this topic we can expect at least one 2 mark question from this one here one 2 mark question and one 1 mark question from the this topic ok at least we can get 3 marks from this topic this is most important topic here Next, when you come across third topic that is DC and AC circuit analysis. Okay. Here we already we have seen like DC circuits as well as AC circuits, simple circuits. After that, we need to come across transients. Means what is the like for example if you give the DC supply is given to the circuit at time t is equal to 0 minus before operating the switch at time t is equal to 0 plus after operating the switch at time t is equal to infinite then system like parameters will go to the like steady state condition means in each and every time period we are going to find we are going to see the what is the response of the that elements like or else ok now in this case we are going to we need to see about steady state response as well as transient state response mostly this transient state response will take the more time and also from this topic at least we can get the 1 2 mark question ok which is very very important in the network analysis here that's why don't leave this topic from this topic that definitely we can expect to 1 2 mark question and 1 1 mark question compulsory question here from this topic and also compared to study state analysis this transient state analysis will take the more time and also which is most important especially if you find that AC supplies to the the circuit that gives very uh, which gives very less importance here ok they may ask you very less questions on the AC circuit analysis but also they are going to ask mostly on the DC circuit transient response mostly ok that's why better concentrate on the DC circuit transient response here based on that they definitely we can able to get into one two more question and one one more question here maximum will be four marks also sometimes you may expect four marks also from this topic Okay. minimum will be 3 months at least in least case you may get it 2 months this is minimum marks this one is the maximum mark in between that marks may be various okay. now this is the third important topic then if you go to the fourth topic fourth topic fourth important topic like DC and AC network theorems okay. there is a network for which if you give the DC supply then when you, if you come across the superposition theorem, Thevenin's theorem, Norton's theorem and Maxi power transfer theorem just do the analysis each and every theorem has its own advantage as well as disadvantage and also has its own applications ok according to Silvers they have mentioned these four topics like superposition, Thevenin's, Norton's and Maxi power transfer theorem concentrate on these four topics first if you get the time go for the other theorems like Telegon's theorem Milliman's theorem ok next and if you look at the, those theorems also then we will come to know what are the important things in the DC circuit as well as AC circuits next one will be but again for the same theorem for the same circuit apply the AC supply then look at the what is the performance of the each and every circuit here now actually based on AC network theorems we may expect the one two more question compulsory question on the AC network theorems here this is the compulsory question one one more question we may get it here from this topic here at least we can expect from this topic two marks from this to, from this theorems here okay don't leave this topic this is also most important topic in a electric sectors okay this topic is very simple but also it will take less very less time okay now out of these DC and AC network theorems, better to concentrate on AC network theorems. Mostly why because AC network theorems will uh, 
uh, gives the more analysis, more lengthy analysis. Wherever there is a difficulty, wherever there is a lengthy analysis, they are going to ask the questions. Okay. Next. Fifth topic in networks, that is two port networks. Okay, in this two port network, there are the four parameters like Z parameters, Y parameters, H parameters and G parameters. Out of these four parameters, we can expect one question like two marks. One question like two marks here. At least two marks from the this topic here. Also, once you look at the this parameters like Z, Y, H and G parameters, after that go for the like series construction of series construction series connection of circuits, parallel connection of circuits. Next, series and parallel, parallel and series, next cascade connection. Just look at the, this concept also based on that you may get the questions on that topic. Okay. From this, at least we can get the any two marks here, anyway, two marks, maybe three marks also sometime. Okay. Now this is also most important topic in the networks. After that, according to silvers, they given filters also. Passive filters they given, just look at the filters concept. Okay. They are asking questions on these filters also, one one mark like that. Okay, really they are asking questions on the these filters, especially passive filters. Now these are the five topics in a networks. From each and every topic, there is an important thing. Okay, you need to learn about each and every topic in order to score the good marks from the network. At least out of let us take maximum of the 12 marks, at least we need to score 8 marks from the networks. This is the basic thing, don't take it as a this one as a choice. Uh, like uh, don't neglect this subject. Okay, do the this subject. Here thing is do the number of problems. Then get the concept. Here only in case of networks, doing the number of problems makes much different instead of reading the, the number of times. Okay, then that's why do the number of pro problems from the standard textbooks. Okay. Always prefer the standard textbooks from the from those textbooks. Do the number of problems. We do the variety of problems, then each and every problem will come to know what is the thing, how can you calculate the, if there is any difficulty problem come in the, that gate itself. Okay. Now, now if you get any uh, regarding any uh, doubts regarding this, how to prepare the electric circuits, what are the subtopics in your networks, how to read it, what are the nodes, Required what kind of questions you need to practice. If you get any doubts, such kind of doubts, then log on to the grade up. If we are here to help you. Okay. Uh, post the that questions. If you get any doubt, then we are ready to send send you the that solution. Thank you. All the best.